Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager. And we're going to look this week at how to enroll iOS devices in Profile Manager. Again, in this series we've been talking about how Profile Manager allows you to manage your iOS and Mac devices and allows you to set up certain profiles and things to help you manage those devices. And so we showed you how to enroll a Mac in your Profile Manager, which basically adds it to your open directory on your Mac so that you can manage it through the Profile Manager interface. And so this week I'm going to show you how to manage your iOS devices and get those set up so that they can be managed by your server. So the first thing we need to do, if here I've got my iPhone in front of me here, is you want to go to Safari. So you want to tap on Safari. And you're going to want to go to your server's name with a backslash my devices. All right. So you want to go in and, and uh, go to my devices. And then you want to log into the my devices screen. So I've got my info in there. I'm going to say tap on log in. And it's going to log me into uh, my profile manager page. And you can see that uh, it does show my uh, MacBook Pro, which I've already enrolled in there, because uh, that's, that's attached to my uh, user ID. And so now I need to enroll my iPhone. Now, just like we did with the Mac, uh, what we want to do is first tap on this profile screen here. And we need to install the Trust Profile for my site. Uh, in a previous screencast, I showed you uh, what this looks like. If I just go to the Settings for Everyone and just say Show Content, you can see there I've got all of the different services that I've set up on my server. And these are all services that I've showed you how to set up in this uh, Yosemite Server series. I showed you how to set up contacts, calendar messages, VPN, all those sorts of things. Uh, and then the Trust Profile, if I just tap on Showing the Contents, you can see we're going to be adding a certificate then to our device. So what I'm going to do first is install the Trust Profile. So if I just tap on the Install button there, now it's going to take me into the Profiles area. And it's basically telling me, hey, look, here's the Trust Profile. It's not verified at this point, so it's not really sure uh, whether I want to accept it or not. Uh, I can go to more details if I want to to show more details, but I'm just going to say Install. So I tap on Install. And now I just have to enter my password uh, for my device. So let me put that in real quick. Okay, once you have your passcode in there, you tap Done. And basically it's just telling me what it's installing. It's going to install a root certificate, uh, which basically gives my open directory uh, authority there. And so it's going to list it in, in there on my iPhone. Uh, another root certificate. Uh, so basically there's two root certificates that get installed and then an unverified profile, uh, which again, they say they can't identify the authenticity of it. Uh, but it's just kind of warning that for me, but I know it's my profile. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Tap on install. It says, you sure you want to do it? Yep, we're going to install it. And so now it says that the profile is installed. And you can see if I just say done here, it takes me right back into the screen. So now that I've got the trust profile installed, now I can go ahead and enroll my device. So let me just go back to device for a minute and tap on this. And now let's just tap on enroll. And so now what it's going to do is actually enroll this iPhone into my uh, uh, open directory so it can be managed. And so now what it does is it asks if I want to accept the remote management certificate. And so it's got a few certificates there. It contains a mobile device management, device identity certificate, and then two other certificates related to my open directory. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. And you can see now they show that they're verified because I've accepted the trust certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Again, put in my passcode. And once I've got that in there, I tap Done. And so now it's just saying it's going to install this, and it's going to allow me to remotely manage my iPhone. So I can remotely wipe it and manage it with apps and all of that. Yes, I want to do that. So I'm going to say Install. And I'm going to say Trust that remote management certificate. So now you can see it says Enrolling Certificate up at the top there with the little uh, spinning wheel. And so it's going through the process now of enrolling my iPhone. See how it says Profile Installed. So now if I tap on Done, it takes me back to the uh, Safari screen that has the portal there for my devices. And it's going to reload that for me. So, And now you're going to see that uh, now that it's re-enrolled it, it all of a sudden now shows my iPhone. It shows my iPhone serial number. And now I can lock it, wipe it, or clear the passcode right here from this uh, user interface. So that kind of gives you an idea of how that works and how to install your iOS devices. And this process is the same for every one of your devices. Now, one more thing I thought I would show you on the iPhone. If I just come over to Profiles for a minute, uh, this one right here, the Settings for Everyone, I can now install 
uh, all of these settings on my iPhone if I wanted to just by tapping on the install button and it would just walk me through the process of putting in my password to install all of these things. So I wanted to show you that this is where you could have users install your settings for everyone uh, profile and everyone can get access to that. Then once we're in Profile Manager, you can fine tune the various settings if you want to. Uh, what I'm gonna do is not install that right now because I wanna walk through the profiles in Profile Manager just to kind of show you how that works, but I wanted to make you aware that that was there so you know how to set that up. So that gives you an idea of how to set up your iOS devices and get them enrolled in Profile Manager and hopefully that, uh, that'll get you set up with your service as well. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.